Here at the magnificent Rio All Suite Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, the party is about to begin. A special invite was sent out to a fortunate 200 and requested their presence by six. Good evening, everybody. Good evening and welcome. It's great to have you all here tonight. William Becker, Rio's Hello. vice president of food and beverage, is one of the world's great banquet and event planners, servicing clients with budgets that range well into the six figures. He's also a visionary and a dreamer, and he sees his finished product in his mind even before it begins. He's fueled by thinking and acting outside the box. In this case, 120 by 120 feet. We try never to be repetitive. We're really not looking to be uh, pedestrian in style or, or commonplace. So, so our, our, our number one initiative is just to create a, a total wow factor. Together with his hand-picked team, they have made the Rio a world-renowned center for major banquet functions with their unique themes. The most important thing that I need is a team that can really uh, aspire to get into the, to the concept and, and, and aspires to, to, to really pull the thing off and, and has a shared vision. Um, my team, the core team that I've assembled, uh, they're, they're specialists in their own area. Catherine is, is probably one of the, the, the hardest working professionals that I've ever worked with and, and she, she never ceases to have great ideas. In the middle of the night, boom, I can't sleep because these things come to me. These are light bulbs. And what I've done is I went to a lapidarist, which is a person who specializes in cutting precious gems. And he had all the, the diamond cut blade able to cut off all of these tops for me, off of these, because it's, they're special glass. So I decided, you know, with doing this study that William wanted, I would put the salmon inside the light bulb for a bright idea. <laughs> Whether it's hot or cold, Catherine is in charge of all that goes on in the kitchens and she imparts to her co-workers that same approach that Becker has passed on to her, Think Special. I try to inspire them and how I try to inspire them with education. So I'm tr constantly trying to push them out of the box. I'm trying to constantly say, hey, you know, you may think this way, but here, here's an alternative way to think. You're the one who puts limits, and I, I don't put any limits. I, I, I'll try anything. I've got quail eggs. We've got the ostrich eggs. We are doing all deviled eggs. This will be a whole deviled egg presentation. You know, the shells is, is, is pretty thick. The ostrich egg is actually edible, and to cook a whole one is two hours. Oh two hours. Oh we did a, you know, and they run about $35 a piece, okay? So the first one, I, I had looked it up and was trying to figure out how long, and I had heard 45 minutes. No, 45 minutes is not long enough, okay? Two hours we so cooked cool, that. Though. Parsnips are underrated. They're great. They taste great raw. They're like in between a carrot and a turnip, and they add crunch, color, and they're healthy. Anybody at home can make this. She's inspired by me, I'm inspired by her, so we just have this, this great trade-off. And the same thing with Randy. What I bring to the table to the team, energy. I love the teamwork, I love the energy that we all spend, how tired we get. If, if I'm not tired, I know I didn't go 100%. Randy and I have worked together for, for almost five years, and. And, and Randy's a, a total creative thinker, and, and he, but, but he, he processes off of my ideas. So he takes a lot of times my ideas and takes them to the next level. It's become a relationship of Did trust, that, knowing that success <laughs> requires teamwork. Because we all come from a very, very different background. I grew up on the wrong side of the street, um, hung around rough kids. I was a rough kid. Easy, man. Do you have any finesse in you? So who's going to put the place in less than fit in there? I'm glad you're not building my house. <laughs> Slower. Think dramatic. Time yourself, Rafa. American time, okay? Mainly the pastry field changed my life. I would be dead right now if it wasn't for food. Momo now, Momo's an incredible guy because I can sit and talk with Momo and, and, and elaborate an idea to him he processes that idea and he's able to sketch that and draw that out on paper like like 
the, the exact image that I have in my mind. Sirapong Vorovudu, a.k.a. Momo, is the team's quiet partner, as he'd rather his actions speak. He's a world-class chef doing many of the nuts and bolts work. But it is in ice sculpting where Momo has been recognized as one of the best in the world. He has rare talent to give expression, tone, and life to a simple piece of frozen ice and have that become just another set piece in a much bigger ice design. In this case, it's called Brain Freeze, which when finished will be 18 feet tall. Born and raised in Thailand, Momo was educated in that country's College of Fine Arts, and he brings an extraordinary and free-thinking design approach to Team Becker. And when he has a moment to step in front of an easel, those artistic talents are displayed in a more traditional yet still amazingly beautiful way. And he gives each of his pieces his own signature. And so the four of us working together like that is just, it's, it's tremendous. It, it's an inspiration working with quality people like that. This evening's guests will have their choice of many creative and delicious dishes. Outrageous desserts to fit the evening's theme. Unique mixology and fabulous motif pieces. In tonight's case, it's high tea and spirits, accompanied by colorful and delicious fruit trimmings. It's one thing to have the flash in the room, but if it's not followed up with just cutting edge, world class food, it's, it's nothing. It's dead. It's all about the food. Whether it be savory, whether it be hot, whether it be cold, whether it be sweet, it's, it's all about the food. That's why we all like working together, because of the food. What we can put on the table, what we will present on these buffets, they will know it will be top notch. But they also know in the back of their heads how wild will this event be. As for Becker himself, he is the Leonard Bernstein of banquet and event planning. And as he takes a moment to gaze over his composition being assembled, he envisions this New Age symphony being played to absolute perfection. Chef William is totally hands-on. He knows every piece of this elaborate jigsaw puzzle he has designed, and that extends into the kitchen right. where his chefs and stylists are creating culinary works of art. Next door, other delectable masterpieces are being made. Vegetable delights, baked onion soup, colorful jars of fruit, and delicious meats. And for dessert, extraordinary and assorted pastry creations are being designed with flair and a delicate touch of hand. Back on the floor, the centerpiece of Williams High Tea event will be an amazing two-story bar. Supported by steel beams and ice sculptures on all four sides, the top level will feature a working still. And the 12-foot bar base is made of carved blocks of ice with a variety of fruits already frozen inside. When it's all ready to go, Becker's team of mixologists will serve a unique high tea elixir comprised of special liqueurs and passionate fruit. But things don't always go as planned. Besides, time is moving much too quickly now. And there are always those unexpected roadblocks, pieces not fitting. And while putting together the complex brain freeze, there is an unexpected cold snap. Are you okay? Hey, hey, hey! Are you, you happy now? It's 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock. We've got got five hours before this thing needs to be done, turnkey, finished. We got a haul ass, guys. Still got a lot to set up, man. It's, it's almost one o'clock already. Dude, we got to be finished with this in a half an hour. It's uh, two o'clock, so we've got two hours to finish. Hey, guys, it's five o'clock. You got 30 minutes to be done. It's, it's, it's late time. The lights have been focused. The curtain is about to open and the food is ready to be served. All the planning and work have now come down to this moment. 
It is now six. The guests have arrived, and as they enter the ballroom, they're asked to put on a Victorian hat especially designed for tonight's theme. How's it look? <laughs> Do you have any idea what you're getting with? I have no clue, but it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a sky vodka, rummy liqueur, and a tea. So we enjoy our tea this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. It's good. The drama of this whole of this whole event is going to be that as the people walk into the outer room, there's going to be just mystery and intrigue about what's in this box. And as that curtain is opened, I, I think the, the, the wow factor is going to be huge. And, and, and so that, that reaction is, is really what this event is all about. I would like to invite you all into the land of make-believe. At this moment, no words are necessary. Each person is experiencing Team Becker's brilliance in their own way. The still and the dancing girls are in full swing. Behind the bar, Eddie and his crew will mix fresh fruit with any assortment of requested liqueurs. Of course, there are comfortable places to sit and just relax. The food is delicious, served with class and creativity. And there's even room for seconds. On this night, everything has worked out right. <laughs> There's magic in the air, and perhaps a bit of romance as well. And now, the mouth-watering desserts and cakes of all kinds decorated in colorful designs to suit a king and queen. This is absolutely unbelievable. I have never been to an event that has been put on to the highest level of our industry of what we do. The transition from one to the next sometimes is, is very quick, and, and things like this provide a lot of inspiration for others. The danger is, is really not to cross over and, and duplicate what we did tonight. We did a lot of things here tonight, and we don't ever want to repeat them, you know? And, and that's where the, that's the challenge. For Becker and his crew, tomorrow it will be all gone, except for the memories and the knowledge that guests were wowed and wanted more. And as another day comes at the Rio All Suite Hotel and Casino, these four world-class chefs await their next challenge. For Becker, it can't come soon enough.